Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you the art journal page that I created as part of Mike Deacon's Mission Inspiration Challenge for July. Each month, Mike Deacon provides us with some art journal prompts, and based on those prompts, we create a page. This month, he had a guest prompt mission controller, Trish Rosma, and using those prompts and some word and color prompts as well, I created this beautiful page, and I hope that you'll stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. When you're done, check out all the links in my description box below. If you're interested in joining his group, you could check out his group on Facebook. I'll put everything down below. Okay, let's get started. As per usual, I'm using my Delusions Journal by Ranger. It's slowly getting filled up. Uh, it's definitely getting beat up. And I've already prepared our page. I put down a layer of Liquitex Gesso. I'll put all links to all products I use down below in the description box. That's nice and dry, and we'll move on to our first prompt which is to brayer one or all of the colors onto my page. Now the colors for this particular mission that are suggested are cyan, which is blue, yellow, and magenta. Um, I came as close as I could with, I'm using these DecoArt Traditions paints. Uh, this is a red violet, this is ultramarine blue, and yellow. I do not have a brayer, so I'm just going to use, I save, you know, old pharmacy cards and, you know, junk mail cards and things like that. So we're just going to do that. And I'm literally just going to kind of stripe each color. I'm going to use all three colors uh, across the page. So let's see where that brings us, shall we? And I'm just, I haven't given any thought to this. That's interesting. And I guess I don't have to cover every inch. Something in me wants to. That's actually kind of cool. I like the uh, striations there. What do you think? All right. So there's our blue. Now let's do magenta next, or red violet. Violet, you're turning violet. I don't know if that's coming up true to color on the camera, but it's pretty violet looking to me. done something like this on my own, which again is one of the things I love the most about doing these types of challenges. Okay, maybe we can kind of swipe it down there a little bit. Ooh, fun. Okay, and then, last but not least, look at that, you guys, um, is the yellow. And I have a bigger card this time. I might need a little more paint. I might not. like a sunset over the ocean. Okay. So there's my version of a brayer. And it just goes to show that if you don't have a certain tool or supply, 
that you absolutely should substitute and sometimes you come up with things that are even better than originally intended including smearing oh I didn't mean to do that but you know what happy little accident I think should I leave it I'm not gonna want to leave it the Virgo in me says go over that Just a little bit. I just didn't want it to be that big blob of it, you know? Okay, this will not take very long to dry, I can't imagine. Um, and when it does, I'll be back with the second prompt, which is, well, I've just got to keep messing with it. It's kind of cool going back and forth. Okay, uh, our second prompt is to collage napkin pieces. So I'll let this dry. I'll go look through my napkin stash, and you know I'll be back with some decoupage. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, this is nice and dry now, and I went into my napkin stash, and I wasn't in the mood for flowers or butterflies or anything, and I just thought that these black and white music notes and this kind of, what is this, Baroque pattern... Uh, would look cool and I think the colors are gonna seep through so sure enough surprise surprise I'm using my Americana decoupage matte medium I already have some in my palette dish I have an old brush and I'm just gonna cover the whole page with the decoupage and then we're gonna lay out I'm just gonna rip strips of the napkin and I'll kinda show you one or two and then I'll finish off camera I use a ton of decoupage on everything. And it's basically just PVA glue and water, you know. Uh, anyway, so let's just rip some of these. You can always trim up the page later. I don't like to have uh, sharp edges actually on the page. Wow, that covered more than I thought it would. That looks kind of cool. What do you think? Let's do a music note page and I'll show you. I'm not going to, I always say this, I'm not going to cover the entire page. We shall see. And I've already separated the layers of the napkins. I know you guys who do this know that most of these decorative napkins come in more than one layer. Uh, they have the design and then they have these backing layers so I've already pulled those out to make these as transparent as possible oh that's a good one very cool these were sent to me in happy mail so really blessed to have these okay I'm going to again randomly not cover the page all right and I'll be back what and show you, you what that looks like I let this dry overnight because the page was really saturated, so looks pretty cool. Uh, our next prompt is to add texture with household objects. So I'm going to do some visual texture and some actual texture texture. And the first thing I want to use, or I thought I would use, this is the bottom of a shoe, like a rubber sole, and it makes a really cool stamped image. So I'm going to use some of my Stazon Opaque Ink in white, which I don't use nearly enough. And let's just kind of, look at that. Isn't that great? Oh yeah. What do you think? Should I go all over? Let's do it. Why not? Still have no idea or thought into what this page is going to be. Uh oh, am I covering the whole thing? 
front row. Well, too late to turn back now. Why not? We're only on step three. This is going to transform um, in so many ways. But yeah, it's really, you can hear it, it's really tacky. All right, and the next thing I wanted to do, what do you think? Did I go a little overboard there? Probably. Let's keep going. Uh, the next thing I want to try, which I think I remember vaguely doing years ago, in, like in a box top, but I have some marbles here, and anyone who knows me knows how much I love marbles. And I also have some paint left over from my boho candle project and this is a mixture of acrylic paints glitter and mod podge and it's been sitting in my cabinet and when i was like what am i going to do i thought let's put some paint and use a marble i don't know what i'm doing guys i just thought it would be fun and then let's and I have a straw. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little an anticlimactic, but I'm just going to... Let's try that again. Uh, da, da, da. Well, I don't know. I kind of feel like I have to, maybe I'll do without the straw. Let's just kind of play with it here. Oh, there it goes. Don't lose your marbles, Callie. All right, one more. That was kind of a, nah. Maybe if I did it with like a gold or a metallic or even a darker paint. But now we're just kind of, oh, I can throw it. There we go, that works. All right, one more throw. Not crazy about that blob there, but we can always cover it up. Um, do do do. All right, that's enough. That's enough of that. And then the last thing that I thought of, so I'm making a total mess here, would be to, like I said, add some actual texture tactile texture. So I have some butcher twine that's been laying around and I have no use for it and I thought I would cut some strips or strings or snippets and just kind of use my Aileen's tacky glue and let's kind of, I don't know you guys, I don't know, just playing. I thought that I could kind of arrange. I'm still kind of looking at this blue like it might be water. Um, <laughs> although I am kind of looking at it upside down. I don't know. What do you think? I can do a few of these. Um, kind of swirlies. I think I'm going to do that, you guys. I'm going to do a few more down here. Uh, I'm not go. Should I do the whole page? Uh, I don't know. It'll be a mystery. Let me figure out what I'm going to do. It'll be more string and more glue, and then when it's all dry, I will come back to you. Okay, this is what we got. It's mostly dry right now. I used a ton of glue on the bottom, more than I should have probably, but I only put the twine down there, and... That's that. So our next prompt is to drip or spray ink or color over your page. And I've decided to drip and spray, do both of them. And I'm going to use my DecoArt Media Misters. These are permanent acrylic sprays. I have magenta, yellow, and cyan, which are the three colors. And then I'm also going to use uh, my Delusions sprays in Funky Fuchsia, Lemon Zest, and After Midnight, which is basically the same colors as well. 
These are not permanent, but they're really cool. So I'm going to spray with these and we're going to drip with the other ones. So let's spray first. And I'm pretty much, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to say I'm pretty much going to spray over the same color. Um, maybe try to go, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's all right. That's part of the fun. Let's see here. We'll go in with the fuchsia. That white ink is a real resist there. It will come up into the yellow with that. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that a lot. And then, ooh, yeah, this is where it starts to get fun. Um, next, I'm going to do the lemon zest right at the top. Ooh, this is the first time I've had a clog. Not having any luck with that one. All right. I'll let you know. I'm going to just undo it and kind of actually have a pipette here. So I'm just going to take a little and just kind of drip it on there. I should have checked my sprays before I started, but I didn't. I'll just kind of move it around. Interesting. Okay, and then <laughs> sometimes you just gotta roll with it, folks. I'll go in reverse order with the permanent sprays and we'll start with the yellow. And do you think I checked these either? No. But ooh. That seems to work. I really love how that made orange up there. And then our primary magenta. Sorry for the sideways view, but I'm trying to get some drippage going here. Whee. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the primary cyan. to color some of that baker's twine a little bit but not all the way okay wow that came out better than i thought um even with the yellow at the top i'm kind of digging it what do you think so i'm definitely gonna let this dry it's gonna take a while that glue wasn't even all the way dry and then our next step is going to be to add a focal image which is where the real fun starts for me because I never know. So I'm going to go through, I have some collage images I can look at. Or maybe I'll draw something, I don't know. But you'll find out when I come back. I so I'll see to dry overnight, so it's nice and dry. I really like how it looks. It's really vibrant and uh, I'm happy with it. For now, let's see what we can do to it. So, like I said, the next prompt is to add a focal image. And, you know, this was speaking to me as water from the beginning. So, of course, my thoughts go to mermaids in the summertime. And I've done mermaid pages before. Um, I do like to do silhouettes. So, I went online uh, and just printed off some mermaid silhouette images for inspiration. And took those and drew out I went back and forth with it just on a piece of mixed media um, paper this will be a silhouette and I think that I'm going to glue it on some black cardstock um, and I'm going to color it black most of it black and then maybe the parts instead of cutting them out so you can see the background Maybe I'll do, I don't know, gray or something, silver. 
We'll see. I want it to be like a shadow. I don't want you to see detail. So I will probably glue this down with some Aileen's Tacky Glue, color it in with a black marker and whatever, and then cut it out and hopefully it'll fit okay um, with this stuff in the way. And there I go, not overthinking anything anymore. So that's what we're going to do. I'll be back when that's done. See you in a minute. Or Okay, I just wanted to give you an update on this before I finish and cut it out. Um, I did put it on that black, it's not cardstock, it's like poster paper. And I didn't use the tacky glue. I changed my mind and decided to just use a glue stick. It's not so bulky under there. Uh, and then I burnished it, you know, with this just to flatten it down. And then I am just using a good old Sharpie black permanent marker, alcohol marker, as well as my silver Krylon pen um, to do this. And I'm going to cut her out and we'll put her on the page. And I will use the Aileen's for that. And I'll probably outline it either with the Sharpie or um, I like my Faber Castell pit pens too. This is a big fat one. All right. So I did use my Aileen's to glue her down. And although I used the sharp black Sharpie to color her, I did go around with the Faber Castell and kind of touched it up a little bit. It's definitely busy, but I think it looks pretty cool. And we are ready to go on to step number six, which is to add splatters using an eyedropper or a pipette. And I happen to have those pipettes still out. So I'm just going to cover up our mermaid a little bit. And I've decided to use, this is a DecoArt Media Mister in white in a Delusion spray bottle. So I had a problem with the uh, sprayer, which happens sometimes. And I'm just going to go in with this pipette. And I'm going to try to drop from a distance because I really don't want large splatters. But it's going to be what it's going to be, right? So I'm just going to take this and oh, do that. Oh, it's a lot more than I wanted, but that's right. Maybe they'll look like stars in the sky. I'm going to go in for one more. I'm feeling brave. This pipette holds a lot. Again, hoping that from a distance... And this may even reactivate some of the Delusions ink that I had under there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... Should I do some in the water? Eh. Alright, that's it for our splattering. I'm just kind of hitting the pipette now. Alright guys, we'll let that dry. It's going to be what it's going to be. Not my favorite step, but... It all adds to it, right? The next step after that, once that dries, is we're going to doodle around the edges. So I'll either be back with a paint pen or another permanent marker or something. But let's let this dry. Okay, I jumped a little bit ahead. But let me show you what I did. I did add some more splatters after I stopped filming. And I wanted to put some, I decided to put some on her. Looks like sea spray, I think, a little bit. And that just helps to incorporate that image into the page, too. And then the number seven was to doodle around the edges. And I went in with that Krylon pen again, the silver. And then just with my black Sharpie, I did like a little swirl pattern around the edges. And then I put a whole bunch of little dots. I don't know how well you can see that. But I thought the extra silver tied in 
with her and it added enough texture and then I just went around the inside edge with the black. Uh, and the last final step is to finish with all or one of the suggested words and I'm not a wordy girl in my art journals by nature but I am going to follow the prompts um, the words are fun, relax, play, love, or sun. And I was going to do like a song lyric, sunshine of your love, or something like that. But I've decided to just take my black Sharpie and I'm going to write the words in the black so you can't really see them, but I'm following the prompt. So let's see, I'll write the word fun. And only you guys will know that these are here. Um, I'm, we'll do all the words. Relax. Play. And sorry if this is upside down for you. Love. We'll make that one bigger. L-O-V-E. And then sun. And that can come down her hip. So there you have it, you guys. What do you think? Um, I'm probably going to seal this with some Americana spray sealer. Let me see if I can grab it quick and show you. Uh, yeah, I have this one here, which is a gloss. I, I guess, we'll, well, I prefer matte, but maybe we'll use the gloss. So I'm just going to give this a quick spray. To finish it off, um, obviously do this in a well-ventilated area. You don't want to inhale any fumes. And that will finish off our page. So what do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video. I'll insert some pics when it's all done. And don't forget to check out the links below. Go check out Mike Deacon and his Mission Inspiration Group, where they provide prompts every month and I've had a lot of fun. This is my second year doing it, and it's definitely challenged me, and I've gotten some pretty cool pages out of it. So let me know what you think below. I hope you're having a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you guys next, next month.